it's just the the process of trying to clean up the turnovers and where where does that start and how do you guys go about that? Uh, yeah, we talked about it before. Uh, I think it, it's just it's just focusing on it better. Um, you know, I think you know how it goes that when you get to this point in the year, you know, practice starts to shorten a little bit um, just because you played more games and you know it's a long season. Um, so it's definitely more of a mental focus. Um, and part of that's just our preparation, I think, just imagining, you know, what the pressure we're going to feel, um, the stuff that we're running. Obviously, you know, we've done, I think, more drills to kind of simulate that uh, as of late. Um, just having a good mental focus on it, I think, because we're a great team and we don't turn the ball over. And like I've, I've always said, I think, you know, that ties into our defense a lot. And we still hold Northwestern to 64 points last game, which, you know, when you do that, you know, you give yourself a pretty good chance to win the game, at least I think. Um, so it comes down to the turnovers. Um, and obviously still a lot of stuff to clean up on both sides of the ball. Um, but it starts there for us. So just focusing on it. And, you know, I think, you know, not just the turnovers, but, but we've had a pretty we've had a pretty special season, I think, so far. Surpassed a lot of expectations with some young guys. Um, it's not an excuse at all. But, you know, at some point, you know, everyone – Everyone's gonna have a game, you know. Um, I think that's just—I think that's just human nature as a young guy. Uh, I'm an older guy, and it's—you know—it still happens to us too. So like, uh, nobody's immune to it. Obviously, you don't want it to happen, especially the stretch run. But you know, we're we're working really hard to fix it, and um, you know, all we can do is just move on to the next game and realize that you know tomorrow is the biggest game to date for us. So, uh, you know, turnovers impact your offense for but sure. what kind of impact have they had on your defense as well yeah I think just just uh giving teams easy points in transition I think is the biggest thing um but it comp it compounds itself you know you you, you know you want to use take fouls at times it puts guys in foul trouble um like I said sometimes a guy that's a great scorer all he needs is you know a, a rhythm a rhythm bucket in transition and then you could play great defense on the rest of the night but now he's sort of unaffected because he's found that rhythm so I think it has a lot of uh, effects aside from just a direct correlation of you know scoring on turnovers. Um, and like I said, we turn it over a lot. We still only give up 64. So, um, <clears throat> but prior to that, you know, we've had a couple 50 point halves, which we would like to not give up. Um, but it's 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 all part of you know growing as a team and learning and dealing with different problems. And you know, we weren't going to play perfect forever. So I think just. Knowing, knowing that we have fixable issues, I think is really exciting. Like Payne says, sometimes you don't always have issues that you can fix. You're just stuck with what you got. But everything we've done, we know we can fix. And we still have everything ahead of us. So so we're excited about the opportunities we got. What do, what do you remember about the first Maryland game? What, what do you expect to see on, on Thursday? Uh, they killed us with uh, Spain pick and roll a lot. Um, kind of the same story. In the second half, I think we, we got a little bit loose with the ball and their pressure. You know, kind of fed into that, but it's a two-way street. You know, um, I think teams like that that press when they smell blood in the water, they turn up the heat. And in the first half, they really didn't. We were able to set our defense. We were fine. Second half, we got some turnovers. They kind of smell blood in the water. They're trying to get back in the game, um, and they apply more pressure. So I think just taking care of the ball, um, adjusting to their defenses. Obviously, they're a team that switches defenses pretty well throughout possessions. Um, other than that. Obviously, it's going to be a tough guard. You know, they have some great players. Obviously, Young's an outstanding player. Um, you know, Reese had a really great game against us. You know, Akeem Hart, you know, I could go down the list. They have a lot of guys that have a lot of talent. Um, so we have to make sure we keep tabs on all of them. If I remember correctly, they would start out in the zone, go to man, or start to yeah. go to zone. So, yeah, they, they would mix it up. They would they would get in that zone press, sometimes drop the zone, and then match up. And sometimes they would run and jump man, drop the man, morphed it like they've, you know, they did every every different thing they could kind of do in the book. So we just got to be prepared for that stuff. Obviously, uh, when you guys are kind of facing and handling that pressure from other teams, some of those mistakes that happen are attributed to the, the person, I guess, handling the ball. But have you guys noticed anything maybe in terms of off the ball movement that can you guys can work on to kind of help, 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 help out in that respect? There's a lot of instances where we kind of leave the leave the ball handler out to dry, I think, in the half court or not in the in the press. Um, so just making sure we're rescuing the ball being in the right spot spacing wise, giving guys proper spacing. Um, and also I think sometimes, you know, as the game goes on, obviously, you know, whoever's bringing the ball up, like Braden in our case, you know, he's going to get worn out as the game goes on, but keeping the pace of like, 
you know, sometimes you just, whoever, it's not even him sometimes, like whoever catches the ball to start when we first get it in, you hold it for a second or two. Well, you want those two seconds back at the end of the 10 seconds when you're trying to get it over. So like, just trying to go with pace the whole game and, and realizing that if you don't give them anything, if you don't put any blood in the water, then they're probably just gonna be more token pressure and drop back. Um, so just doing that and, and just, just doing our job and doing what we do, I think is the biggest thing. Where have you, go ahead. Uh, if I remember correctly, you had a primary role in guarding Jameer Young. Oh. Um, you're going up against him for the second time. How do, how do you sort of have to change, do you have to change anything with your approach when you're facing someone for that second time Sort of having knowing both of you knowing each other's tendencies a bit more. Yeah, no, I think I think it's twofold. I think obviously you make adjustments based on what we saw in film, so just things I can clean up. Um, you know, get, being ready for adjustments, but then so it's obviously making adjustments. But then I think having the mindset of being ready to make adjustments again in the game once you see how they adjusted to us. Um, but I think at the end of the day, it's just about playing hard and knowing he's a great player. You know, if you give effort a lot of times, um, you put yourself in a good spot. Um, so we just got to, you know, we're obviously going to give him a lot of attention, but the other guys can all kind of get going as well. You know, Dante Scott's a very talented player that's hurt some teams at Keymark. You know, they've all had big games, so trying to keep tabs on everybody, just playing hard and ha having an idea of what they run and how we're going to counter that. And, you know, like I said, just kind of do what we do on defense. So, Where, where have you seen kind of Brandon improve defensively? Um, I think Brandon's always been really good defensively. Um, you know, some, sometimes it's just hard to get in the flow of the game coming off the bench. I mean, I could talk about that, you know, more than <laughs> more than most. Um, so that's hard. It's hard, man. It's just a, it's a hard job. Um, I give him credit for how he's handled it and how he's been able to have success, especially recently. Um, just being so that it comes down to, the, you know, when you play hard and you're solid, you know, a lot of times good things are going to happen. Sometimes you're going to you're going to get bad calls or, you know, sometimes you give a great effort and the offense just makes a better play and you kind of got to tip your hat. Um, but no, he's been great, man. Uh, you know, hopefully he can continue to help us um, on that side of the ball. Just activity and, you know, obviously his knowledge of what's, what's going on. He's been around, been around longer than me, so. I mean, you guys usually end up guarding a lot of the same mm -hmm. guys on the team. Yeah. I mean, is there, I mean, you bring, you bring a different level of defense. He brings his own thing. But right. Between you two, do you feel like you guys are pretty solid in, for sure on the perimeter there? Yeah, yeah, no, I think we definitely are. Um, and that's something, you know, we always, I always tell them before the game, like, you know, it'll be both of us, you know, together trying to, you know, kind of take care of business on whoever we're guarding. Um, so it's an exciting challenge every game, you know, and obviously the last few games, you know, nor normally I'm pretty, as you know, I'm <laughs> normally pretty negative sometimes about the things I've done, even. You know, even when I've had a pretty good game, but uh, honestly, I think the last few games, even though we've lost and uh, we've given up a lot of points, you know, I, I think a lot of us have been <laughs> solid in, in, a, in a lot of aspects. It's just some things here and there, and how the turnovers and offensively than your defense more than anything. Um, just going to continue to keep better, get better, and keep working. So, obviously, when you go back to uh, Northwestern, you know 